Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Today, we'll be talking about LobeChat. LobeChat is a web-based interface that allows you to connect your API endpoints and chat with your API models. It is fully open source and has tons of features. So, let's dive in and explore its features one by one. The first feature here is that it has multi-model service provider support which means that you can connect it with most of the service providers you can think of. You can integrate your AI models from multiple providers, such as AWS Bedrock, Anthropic, OpenAI, Gemini, Groke, OpenRouter, and Together AI. So, you can pretty much connect it to any AI model you like. But if you want to use it locally, then you can do that as well. To do that, you can connect it to Alama's endpoint and start using your local models, such as Llama 3, within seconds. It also supports visual recognition, which means that if you want to use GPT-4 Vision or Lava, then you can use it here as well. So, you can use it with images and screenshots. You can also convert the messages to speech through the text-to-speech option. You can also do speech-to-text with this, which means you can just speak and it will automatically transcribe your message as text. Pretty cool. Another feature is the image generation option. I really like this option. You can connect it to multiple image generation API providers, such as DAL E3, Midjourney, and Pollinations. This way, you can get all your images generated from just one place. Another feature that is pretty cool is their plugin ecosystem. This could be pretty useful if you want a feature that is not particularly available within the system. You can just get the plugin and integrate it directly into the application, which is pretty amazing. One of the major features that it provides is their agents market. Through their agents market, you can get multiple fine-tuned agents and assistance for specific tasks. Like, you can get agents for stable diffusion prompts or you can get agents for coding as well. It also works on mobile devices, as it's a web interface. So, you can easily access it from your mobile devices as well. Pretty cool. Also, it's 100% offline and open sourced. So, all your chat data is stored offline, and you can chat with your sensitive data as well. There shouldn't be any issues of privacy as well. Now, that's enough talk. Let's get it installed. I'll be telling you how to install it locally with Olama as well as Grok. First, you'll need to get Docker installed. To get Docker installed, go to Docker's website, choose your operating system, and get it installed from there. Once done, we'll need to install Olama. To get Olama installed, go to Olama's website, click on the download option, then choose your operating system. Once installed, come back to the GitHub page and copy this command. Paste it in your terminal and it should start getting installed. Once installed, open it up. Now, click on this Get Started button. Once done, you'll see this chat interface. Now, click on this button and click here. Now, turn off the OpenAI option from here and turn on the Olama option. Now, Olama has been enabled. Close this, and now select Llama 3 from here. Now, before sending a message, let me first tell you about this interface. On the left side, you have the menu. Then, after that, you have the agents menu. You can have multiple sessions with each agent. This is just the chat agent. So, this is just for chatting. Over here, you also have some options like temperature, message count, voice input, and plugins. For the voice input, you'll need to use the OpenAI API. In the plugins, you can add multiple plugins, which I'll tell you about later. Anyway, let's send a hi message now. Okay, so here's the response. With each response, you can do these things. You can edit the response, copy the response, do text-to-speech, 
but this requires you to use an OpenAI API. You can also translate messages from here. Then, you have the Regenerate and Delete options. Next, if you look at the bottom near the Send button, you'll see another button, which is Add New Session. You can click here and add a new session if needed. You'll see these sessions for each agent on the right-hand side. Pretty cool. So, that is basically the chat interface. Now, if you need to add a custom agent, you can click on this Add Agent button, and this will create a new agent. You can change this agent's instruction over here. I have entered that it should be a coding assistant. The more you add details to this prompt, the more it will give you better results. Anyway, now send a test message, and it should work. Now, this is how you can add your own custom agent, but it also has a marketplace where you can get specific pre-made agents. To add the agent, go to this option on the menu. Here, you'll find a bunch of agents. You can find agents for each specific use case, which is pretty amazing. I'll choose this poetry expert. Click on this Add and Chat option, and you'll be sent back to the chat option. Now, send a test message and check if it's working fine. Okay, it works. This is good and all, but remember how I told you that you can add extensions to the model to get internet data or generate images? Well, to do that, click on this extension icon. Now, over here, you can see the DAL E3 built-in extension but you can click on this plugin store and get multiple other extensions added here. For example, you can add Google search, image generation plugins, weather, and whatnot. There are a bunch of extensions. I'll add these two plugins. The first one is the weather plugin, and the second is the image generation plugin that works through Pollination API. Pollination API is fully free and doesn't even require an API key. Pretty cool. Now, once you have them installed, come back to the chat screen. Now, in the extensions option, click on the extensions you want to enable for your chat. I have enabled the weather extension here. Now, let's ask it about the weather in New York. Okay, it works pretty well. Now, Let's enable the image generation extension. Now, let's send an image generation message. Okay, it automatically detects that it needs to generate an image and starts generating it. And now we have the image here. Pretty cool. You can use whatever extension you want and increase your productivity with this. Also, let me tell you how to set up Grok with this. To set up Grok, just click on this Settings button, and over here, turn on the Grok option and enter the API key. Once done, go back to the Chat option, and you'll see Grok models pop up over here. Go ahead and click on the model you want to use and send your messages. You can see how fast it is. Pretty cool. It is really amazing for people who want a fully customizable experience with their assistants without configuring multiple things via coding or config files. It's fully graphical and works amazingly. You can get multiple extensions and agents configured for your specific use case, which is pretty cool. I think it will keep getting better as it's an open source project. So, let me know if you will use it in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.